Okay, paths and squares. So let's make a rule. We can only go to the right and down. Only to the right and down. So let's start off with a square and say how many different ways to go from point A to point B. Well, how many different ways can we start at A? Well, one way. So I'm going to put in one near A. Now, how many different ways can we go this way? Well, we can start at one and go one way to that way. How many ways can we go down this way? Well, if we start at A at one, well, then there's only one way to get down here. But to get over to B, well, we have one way and another way. So we're going to add the ways coming to it, add the numbers coming to it, which is going to be a two. Two ways to get from A to B. So let's take a look at a similar example. How many different ways to get from A to B? Well, there's one way to start and one way to go to the right and one way to go down. If there's one way to go to the right and one way to go down, then there's two ways to get to that middle point, the same as we saw above. Now back up top. If there's one way to go to the right, then there's one way to go to the right again. Back to the left to A. If there's one way to start and there's one way to go down, well, there's one way to go down to the bottom left. Now, bottom middle. If there's two ways to go to the middle and one way to go to the bottom left, then we add the numbers coming to it and there's three ways. Middle right. If there's two ways to get to the middle and one way to get to the top right, add the numbers coming to it and there's three ways to get there. Three ways to get there, three ways to get there, add them up, six total ways. Now this, own, this works really well, and we can think about it a little bit differently. I'm going to be going right twice, so I have two R's. I'm going to be going down twice, so I have two D's. And we learned on the last question that we can just be do doing the total number of letters factorial over the number of repeaters, two R's, and again the number of repeaters, which works out to be six, the same six we got a second ago. So two different ways to do it, just drawing it out or working through it. Now, another example, but this time there's a gap. There's this gigantic gap. How many different ways can we get from A to B? Let me divide my questions. How many different ways to get from A to B? Well, we start at A with one. One way to get here, one way to go down, one way to go to the right, bottom right, middle right, ex middle left, excuse me, one way to get here, one way to go down, one way to go to the right. Going down, middle, bottom, one way to get there, one way to get there, add the numbers coming to it. Off to the right, middle right, one way to get to the middle, one way to get to the right, add the numbers coming to it, one and one makes two. Again, add the numbers coming to it, two and two makes four. So paths and squares, I highly suggest just doing it, just going through the numbers and just numbering it all out. As you can see further in the notes, there's an example off to the right where if the squares are perfect, both of them, and they're touching at a point, you can use the, com the formula about the certain number of letters, like certain number of rights and downs. There is another example at the bottom with a 3D object, but I don't think you're going to see that. If you see this question, ideally, you just do the thing on the right, painfully get there. If you do have perfect squares like seen above or in the notes with two of them side by side, sure, use the formula, but it is a little bit dangerous.